here with Marty Music. Thanks for hanging out for another lesson. This time we're going to get the let out again and again and again and we're going to do communication breakdown and it is so fun to play. Also you guys I appreciate you uh, showing support for Marty Music. I have this uh, awesome new thing, a Patreon page. You can check the link in the description box. There's a lot of cool bonuses and stuff and it helps me out. All right let's break it down. All right we want to start with an open E and it's nine times, and you want that palm muting underneath. You know, not, not that, but just a little bit of skin on the string. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then, you know, it's, it's just a D, A, D. And Jimmy Page, he, he does a lot of the thumb E position. I'm gonna just show you the way I play it and it's just, you know, easiest for my hands. I'm gonna think of it as like a D bar chord right here. But I'm not here, you know, it's really a power chord. You know, focus on the A, D, and G strings. Then I change it to an A bar chord. And then back to the D. That's a great, if like, let's say some of you might be a beginner. This is a great practice uh, routine is these bar chord changes. Like, so you got the D, you got the A. And so let's break that down again. Haha, <laughs> Zeppelin puns. So that's the main part. Next, it's uh, an A chord, right? And I think of it as like all downs, like down, 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 some palm muting. Now on the studio recording, there's definitely at least two guitar parts, right? So here's what I like to think of it as just the one guitar player part. And I also watched, you know, footage of Led Zeppelin playing it live. Play an A chord right here. And the bass is doing this cool little like, like a little classic little. So you could add that in there. Um, and so it's just the open A and then that hammer on to three to four. And then that D string. And then you're just grabbing the chord so you can hear that G string. And so then you go up to a B and you can play this uh, B7 chord. And so that's just like, uh, you know, second fret, fourth fret, the bar is leaving that second fret G there. Just like that. It gives it that bluesiness. So you got the A.
So another option is you could do the, the A and the B right here. And there's a little hit on E before the solo. But yeah, so you could play like this bar chord with the pinky off as A7. And then that B7 too, just as a choice. Another thing I saw him do live is he was uh, on the B, sometimes he was letting that open B and high E ring out with the B chord like. But that was just live. So here are the two parts again, a little, little bit slower for you. Next part. All right, there it was. Hope you had a good time. You know, maybe you can jam it with your uh, with your own band. Uh, also, thanks for supporting me at Marty Music. You know, if you have any requests at all, lessons, songs you want to learn, let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe right here to Marty Music. Thanks again. We'll see you later.